Why, hello loves. Welcome to Bauer Beauty, your favorite beauty channel that's ever existed. And we also happen to be the funnest, the hottest, the sexiest community in the beauty space. The smartest, the most clever, the most witty. Yes, you're a part of this community. Aren't you excited about this? And if you're not already on my email list, like why not? because I send out inspiring emails on a regular basis. So if you're interested in, you know, life, you should be subscribed to Bar Beauty. That's my case. I'm building a case for you. I'm Jenny, your host, and oh, my memory card has four minutes. <laughs> Why can't anything be easy in life? <laughs> you know what's crazy is I feel like ring lights work for everyone except for me. I don't think ring lights make my life better at all. Like. I look at these bitches using ring lights and I'm like, yeah, but you look flawless. Like this ring light does not do that for me. It does not give me flawless vibes. It gives me fucking cheap ass douchebag vibes. And so does my hair and my whole life. Oh, I hate my life. Okay, so today do we like my hair? I did it myself, but I'm mainly talking about the color, not the style, because the style makes me want to just go get a blowout because I don't know how to do my motherfucking hair half the time. So the color is a color that I'm totally obsessed with. It definitely looks more warm on camera than it is in person. In person, it's a little bit more neutral, more beige. I just did a crazy thing, and I want you to tell me, honestly, do you like this lighting or the previous lighting? Because I'm vibing with this. <gasps> Maybe I like this better. Maybe this is why all the hoes look good in their freaking ring light videos. But I usually use these, which are the covers, you know? It gives you like a warm glow, but here I am bitching about red hair. Who knows, maybe this is the thing we needed to do like this whole time. Imagine that, we're just constantly learning things, constantly, constantly learning things. I feel like I need to sit on a pillow, but then I'll probably have double chin on camera. And I definitely need a brush. And I definitely, ooh, I have to tell you about this candle. This candle is called Paris Cafe. It's not one I just have to have on a regular basis. It is one that I purchase maybe once a year, if that, but it's such a gosh darn vibe. It's rich coffee, brioche, vanilla cream, and it takes, it smells exactly like what you would imagine a Paris cafe smells like. It's so goodness gracious. It's so life-changing. I actually love the color too of this the only warm thing in my house. Okay, I need textural spray and I also need a new memory card. So hold please. Okay, we have had a full makeover. Um, oh, it's a little hot in here. Yes, we have had a full, a full and complete makeover. Normally I wouldn't put red lipstick on on a random Tuesday at 12.50 in the afternoon, but I just needed to spice this situation up and I really wonder how this lighting is gonna look. It felt very ice cold to me, so I just put like the first lip gloss that I saw in my drawer, which was this Clarins Water Lip Stain, which I've actually really liked these lip stains. It's a literal like, it's literally, it's a water lip stain. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. It's very like a light fluid that stains your whatever it touches. So I really like it, but I had like a little bit of lip gloss on before as well. Is this lighting gonna know? The issue is I actually can't see in the viewfinder. And then what happens is I film an entire video and I'm like, dear Lord, how did you film a video under these conditions? How did you not see that the, th the thing was out of focus or the lighting was this bad? So Okay, now after all of these ramblings have gotten out of the way, we talked about this, we talked about that. I do have a bathing suit that I must show you before we continue on to anything. This is the bathing suit. It's mesh, see this? So it looks like this. It's God Save Queens, this brand right here. It's an Australian brand, I believe, because I'm going to Mexico in a couple weeks and I'm doing a shoot there. And then this is the bottoms. So see how it's mesh right here in the front and then it's just a cute little tie thing. So it'll be super hot and it's like this print that's kind of like, it's velvety. It's really pretty. 
All right, moving on. I posted a blog two or three days ago now, and I got an interesting response to this blog. The blog was called um, Airports and Up Leveling, I believe. My blogs, all of my blogs are also emails, but all of my emails don't always get posted on my blog. So if you want to see if you'd be interested in receiving my emails, go to my blog. I will link it in the description. I got a response to that blog because I sent it out as an email and the girl basically said, oh, you don't have any real problems. Like she called me privileged in a derogatory way and said I had elitist problems. Anyways, this whole fiasco of her replying to me saying that so triggered me because I want everyone who follows me that connects with me to understand that you can have whatever the fuck you want. Literally write it down right now. What do you want? You can achieve that. But it's not just like a thing where you snap your fingers, right? You decide you can have it and then you work towards it. And it's a very treacherous road sometimes. But my whole point is I decided because of this incident that I want you to know and I want people to know that you can create whatever you want and you can create this lifestyle if, if you want a glamorous lifestyle, not saying my lifestyle is glamorous, but to some people apparently it is. If you want to elevate your lifestyle, it's possible and therefore I'm hosting a workshop called the Manifest Your Dream Life Workshop and this is going to be actually while I'm in Tulum at the end of the month. It's either on a Zoom or a Facebook call, I haven't decided. But it's just going to be a one day thing. It's probably going to be an hour to two hours. And I'm going to give you my step by step method that I use to manifest this business. When you leave that day, like when you leave that workshop, you will have a commitment. I know before I committed to skin, I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth about what the fuck to do for years. I thought I was going to be a lawyer and then I started modeling and I was like trying to pursue that a little bit but not really and then I thought I was going to be a writer and then I thought I was going to be a stylist, a makeup artist. I thought I was going to be, I tried all these things. I tried to like be a winemaker, a sommelier. I tried um, pharmaceutical sales. I tried working in corporate. I tried so many motherfucking things right before I just decided it was 2014 and I just decided that skin was it. And I decided based on a variety of criteria. And this is a just add water equation. It's just fucking add water, right? You blend emotion with logic and that's your answer. You can figure out right now what you wanna do like with your life, right? If you are not happy in your life, you can make a change starting right now by just making a decision and committing to one thing. I said, I'm choosing skin and come hell or high water, I'm making this happen. And that's why I went to beauty school. Like why would I ever fucking just randomly go to beauty school? No, it's because I was committed. It's because I was gonna see this shit through come hell or high water, right? So anyways, it's been now eight years, eight years since I made that decision and like I made that decision based on a combination of logic and emotion. And then I just committed to that and I never stopped. Now I'm not saying it has to take you that long, right? Cause you have resources. We're in the information age. You have resources like classes you can take on how to fucking choose. Um, mentors you can hire on how to accelerate your progress. You have everything at your fingertips to create something quicker than I did. But my whole point is, is that it just begins with one step. If you have that feeling inside of you that like want a different lifestyle, that you want a more like flexible lifestyle with financial freedom, freedom from location, and something just basically that integrates easily with your life, this is the first step. It's first step. It doesn't mean it's going to solve all your problems. It's one step. Step one, but it's the most important step. Basically, the most important step, number one, deciding the time is now. Number two, deciding what you're gonna do and what you're gonna commit to. That's all it is. My mission has always been to kind of lead people to do what I've done, right? I wanna do it so I can 
support myself, but then I want to show how it's done and show people how to create it. It's not easy. You just, once you know the steps, then it becomes a little bit easier. So yes, manifest your dream life, the workshop, Tulum vibes, um, at the end of this month. No, it's actually March 1st. It's Tuesday, March 1st, noon Eastern time. And yes, it'll be super exciting. It'll be amazing. It's mandatory if you feel like uncomfortable in your current existence, if you feel like you've been trying, trying, trying to figure out how to manifest a new life, a new business. If you feel like you're like lacking, like what's my purpose or something like that, that is what this is for. That's who this is for. This is for someone who like is in that position. If you don't have a business and you want to have a business and you want to have like a brand and a genre that you belong to and something to commit to and something to focus on, then this is for you. This is for you if you have tried over and over again unsuccessfully to create something, then this is for you. During this time, we are going to enter into a space of getting clarity on the fact that right now is your time. Now is your time to create it. It's not um, something you have to wait for, get permission for, get another degree for, nothing. It's now and it's deciding that is now is the right time, but then also then let's boil down what needs to happen like what is your what are you going to commit to by the end of this and then there will be time for question and answer because i'm kind of going to let the question and answer guide at least half of the time right i'm going to teach on what i need to teach on and give you the steps that need to occur on your end in order to get that shift but then i'm going to leave it open for q a because i really want to be able to dive deep into like what you're dealing with where are your hangups because for me it's been motherfucking years since i've dealt with this right yeah that's that's where we need to start with this manifest your dream life the workshop because it all starts with one decision it all starts with one thing the reason i'm here is because i made a decision and the reason i'm here is because i made a decision and look at my timing by the way look at divine timing because this is something else i'm going to teach you i'm going to teach you how to tap into collective energy so you know what your calling is everyone has a calling how the fuck would i have known that skin blew up right when did skincare blew up skincare blew up in 2020 when I launched my business, really, I couldn't have predicted that. That was just divine timing. That was me understanding how to tap into collective energy to see what my purpose was, to understand how the world logically fits together. And I just think, I look at the pieces of my life and I look at how everything has worked out. And I'm like, that is so crazy because I couldn't have predicted that skin was going to be the next hot thing. I had no idea, but I was just doing what I knew to do in the moment, step by step. And so I'm going to teach you how to do the exact same thing so you can tap into your exact calling because we all have a calling. We all do, but they might, all callings may not be the same, right? I'm not saying this course could be for anyone because not everyone wants to build a business. Not everyone wants to like, like support themselves with a business, but creative women, a lot of creative women who are ambitious, but really feminine, like need to create a business this way because for me i couldn't make it like my initial dream to be a lawyer i couldn't make it as a lawyer i'm not built for that like i'm very i'm too in touch with my body and my femininity and my circadian rhythms to be able to be that mechanical and if you are here and you're watching me you're probably similar you probably are like i actually feel like i'm dying at my nine to five job and i actually feel like you know like I don't feel like doing the same thing every day and my emotions are high and low and whatever else, right? That's what you're getting here. And so this is for the women who are extremely creative and feminine, but also ambitious and want to build something and want to contribute to this world in some way and don't want to just do it some random arbitrary way they really want to choose the thing that's meaningful for them and the way that you choose the thing that's meaningful for you is you tap into the collective energy you look at your life experience you look at your physical experience you look at your intellectual <clears throat> capabilities you look at your strengths and weaknesses 
you look at what you're excited about and then you make a fucking decision and then you commit to that decision because you realize the journey is the same no matter what. No matter what, no matter if I chose skin, makeup, hair, fucking clothing, fucking whatever, the journey is going to be the same, meaning it's going to take time, it's going to be arduous, it's going to be hard, you're going to have to like do the work. As soon as I started with skin, I was like, all right, I'm doing skin. I mean, it's going to take a while no matter what, right? And not like maybe it was my belief that it had to take a while, which is why it took a while. But no matter what, it did take a while. But I, after I got maybe a couple years in and I had made progress, that's called momentum. Uh, and I thought to myself, like, I would get attracted by other ideas or something. And I would just be like, yeah, but do I want to start over? It's not like if I start this other path, it's going to be accelerated. It's the same goddamn path. So the sooner you start, the better. It's compounding interest, right? Like the sooner you start investing in stocks, the more money you're going to make. Haven't you ever seen those analysis? Someone who puts $1,000 in at 20 versus someone at 30, they put 500,000 in. The guy at 20 has more money. Like I know those numbers aren't exactly correct, but it's kind of like you get the gist. You can invest way more when you're 30, but if you just put a amount in, it's the time that matters. It's the time that matters because you got to put the time in. Okay. So if I can implant one thing in you, it's that the time is going to pass and pass and pass and pass. And don't let it keep passing without committing right now. And that's kind of like the point of this workshop is to have you commit to something and commit to it like through and through. And I think it'd be fun to also, you know, we'll have a Facebook group and we'll all have chosen this path and we'll all have committed to this path. And so we can kind of use our Facebook group, hopefully to go deeper in the conversation and to, you know, like support one another and hopefully the community grows, right? And then this um, workshop will also lead to a larger program. I will have other options for you guys that want to go deeper, right? I will design a program. I think it's gonna be called The Diamond Life because that's just what came to me. So The Diamond Life, an educational program, probably a course of some sort that's gonna go a little deeper, a live week by week course that I will take you guys through a process, but then I'll also have options for ongoing support too, okay? So yes, this blog post and the email response really like had me going and I actually don't know where you guys stand on this. I mean, I did get some responses when I posted this, my perspective on Instagram, I did get some responses like mostly being like, yeah, that girl looks like she doesn't get it or whatever, but then a lot of people didn't respond, so I kind of don't even know where you guys stand, but I always want to give you guys the option. This is a lifestyle you opt into, and if people don't know that, that's what I want to communicate. This is not something that just fell in my lap. This is something I architect out of my brain. Is that a word? Architected? This is something I created literally brick by brick. Even this house, like I'm, I manifested this house, this freaking computer, this sweatshirt, like everything came from a vision that I had in my head before I entered into the situation. So it's not by accident. It wasn't handed to me. It wasn't given to me. It didn't come easy. I wasn't born with a silver spoon up my ass. My whole point is that I'm, it's not that I'm special because some people like that girl who called me privileged like she knows, I don't know how much she knows about me, but I w I'm not like one special person over the other. We're all born literally the same. We're all born motherfucking naked with blood and veins and a heart and a stomach and a throat and a brain. And it's like, we're all born with the same damn components. What is difference? It's just the way that you think. You just have to opt in to the lifestyle that you want. And this is the lifestyle that I want. Even like this, this evolution of my business, this, these are new topics I'm talking about because these are topics that I would talk about in my everyday life, but never on my channel or so I used to talk about manifestation back in the day, but then I changed it. But like, this is an evolution of my business. I am doing this on purpose intentionally. Everything in my entire life, my entire experience, my entire existence has been created and you can create your experience the way you want to create it as well. 
And that is my whole entire point. And that's why I'm giving you this opportunity to do this workshop. And I'll be super excited because like I said, I'll be in Mexico. It'll be so fucking cute. Tulum vibes. It'll be so vibey and adorable and fun. And it'll be recorded so you can have it. And then it'll probably be a bonus in the, um, in the uh, course as well the recording so you can have it forever regardless but yeah so that's where i'm at um that's that let's look at my phone what time is it oh i've been blabbing for a while now oh so, yeah blah 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 i'm not special blah 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 you can do it too blah 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 even down to like how i look my physical appearance like i've tweaked everything i'm wearing a waist trainer right now i go to the gym every fucking day that didn't used to be a habit for me back in like 2017 2016 2017 2018 like around there like i wasn't going to the gym at all you know like these are all things that i architected is that a fucking word we have to find out right now yes it is a word see this is why i like reading because it's like words get implanted into my head and i don't know why i know them so yes, I architected the whole damn thing. I still don't, I still feel like it's a clunky word, but my, my everything, my whole like being is like, I have an inner thing that I believe I can create what I want. And then I constantly have my, my spidey senses out there to pick up on things that I want to try in order to help me achieve the things that I want, right? So it's like anything you want, anything you want but we're going to talk about business in this workshop but anything you want you can have it's just like it like it not only like upsets me it's kind of like when you work so hard for something and someone tries to take that away from you right but it's deeper than that because it's like i want the whole world to understand this i want the whole world to understand that you can have what you want and it's not as simple as like because some people will be like well then everyone would be billionaires it's like that's not what i want i don't want to be a billionaire I don't want to own a boat. I don't want to like own a private jet. So it's like I, at this point in my life anyways, it's like I know what I want and I understand that it's like not everyone wants the same things. Not everyone is built for the same things. Not everyone's going to want skin. You know, maybe and there's there's unlimited choices. You have to understand how perfectly nature has designed us and the human race. There is something for everyone. There is enough to go around. There is not lack anywhere. And if you are unhappy with your life, you need to look yourself in the face and take responsibility for that. That's like the biggest takeaway for me is I don't ever want to, one, detract from someone's own self-responsibility because that's the only way you get anywhere is by taking responsibility for it yourself. But then also I don't want to discourage other people by being like, oh, well, she's privileged. So that's why she has that. And I cannot achieve that then. It's like, no, 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 no. That's not the case. Um, I had zero, actually I had negative, like almost $30,000 that I had accumulated in debt in the matter of like six months. Like I went deep into debt very quickly and, um, I had no money and I didn't know anything about finances. And this was like, I was like 30. Like my friends were like buying houses, having babies and having salaries of like a hundred thousand. You know, like I was broke as fuck at, at like 32 and I'm 35 now. It's just been a few years that I've changed everything around because I just said, this is it, we're done it's over and it has to happen now that was a series of decisions right but it takes one decision the one decision was my commitment to skin and there's been a series of decisions having to do with leveling the fuck up getting my money shit together and getting my shit together but yes so i'm not fucking special no 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 and this is going to be an outstanding workshop though you can read about it it's linked in the description because i'm actually writing it right now writing the product on shopify so you'll be able to click on the link below and you can do a payment plan or you can do one payment of 222 or i believe four payments of 555 so i like those number vibes um what else do i need is there anything else i need to cover here no, read the page, read the sales page. It's going out an email and probably a blog and Facebook 
and all the things. And by the way, do not forget about my free Facebook group because I opened this Facebook group up, group up for everyone now. Listen, I want somewhere that at, you guys can at any point ask me a question on a public forum because it's useful to other people that way. I get DMs, I get customer service emails, and I want, like sometimes I get a customer service email that says this, hey, do I use your vitamin C before your barrier serum or after your peptide serum, whatever. It's not possible for me or even my assistants to answer all of these emails, but if they're on a public forum, people now can see the question and now it's useful. So we can answer this question and now it can be on the public forum for everyone to see questions like this and all customer service related questions or any random question that you may have. I just want to create a deeper dialogue with you guys with and with Bauer Beauty customers. Even if you're not a customer, you can ask any questions you want, but I want them all to be in a public forum. Now this public group, or I'm sorry, this private group is um, Spiritual Glow Baby Community. It's like the Spiritual Glow Baby Community, something cute like that. But um, it used to be just for my acne girls. And so I opened it up to everyone, all topics, all conversations. And so yes, don't forget to join. I'll have that in the description as well. And I feel like I'm leaving things out. I think that probably is it. I mean, I really feel like I could ramble on for a little bit longer about why this is exciting to me, but I won't. I think I'll stop it here and I'll probably post more videos about it in the future, but yes. So I'm very excited about this and I'm excited to offer this to you guys. I will see you guys very soon.